Maya is looking through her Uncle Greg's recipe book and she sees some yummy looking food that she hasn't tried before. Mmm, thinks Maya. I wish I could try all these yummy foods. Do you like the look of that, Maya? asks Uncle Greg. He notices that she's stopped on the page with a delicious picture of Japanese sushi. Oh, yes, replies Maya. It looks tasty. I wish I could try it and all the other recipes from this book, she says longingly. But they are all from different countries. You're right, Maya, agrees Uncle Greg. Different cultures have different foods. I have lots of friends from different countries and backgrounds who would love to share their traditional foods with us. These traditional foods have special ingredients depending on the country that each food comes from. Would you like me to invite some friends over to cook with us? Oh, yes, 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 cries Maya with excitement. Let's see, murmurs Uncle Greg, looking through his list of friends. Let's invite my friend Jeddah. She said she wanted to show me a dish made from native Australian plants. These are plants that can only be found in Australia and have grown here for a long time. And we'll invite our neighbours, Suraj and Emmy. Suraj learned to cook Indian food from his grandma, and Emmy makes delicious sushi. Sounds yummy, squeals Maya. Uncle Greg rings all his friends and invites them to his special dinner party. Let's go on a food safari with Maya, he explains, so we can taste different foods from different cultures. Everyone agrees, and before they know it, the night arrives. First to come in is Suraj. He is from India and walks in holding a jar of orange and brown spices. Next is Jeddah from Australia. She is Aboriginal, which means she is one of Australia's first people. She is holding some amazing ingredients in a basket made of dried plants. The fresh leaves inside smell lemony, nutty and fresh. Last is Emmy. She comes from Japan. She glides in carrying some flat, dark green nori sheets and other ingredients. Everyone gets ready to cook some delicious food. They start by washing their hands with soap to get rid of any dirt or harmful germs. Suraj goes first. He is making goat korma, a dish from his home country of India. Goat is eaten a lot in India because they are common and easy to breed. He places some powdered spices into a pot. They are orange and brown and smell spicy and sweet. Uncle Greg helps Suraj by carefully cutting up onion, garlic and ginger with a sharp knife. He then puts them in the pot with a little oil. He chops up the goat meat last. Suraj stirs it all together with a big spoon on the hot stove, taking care not to burn himself. Now he can leave the dish to cook slowly for a while. At the same time, Emmy starts to make a traditional dish from Japan, sushi. She needs flat, green nori sheets, which are made of dried seaweed. Japan is surrounded by oceans full of seaweed, so it is often eaten by Japanese people. She also uses some crisp cucumber, creamy mayonnaise and rice. (laughs) 